On Sunday, Jesus entered Jerusalem and was hailed as a hero by cheering crowds waving palm branches, and they shouted, Hosanna, save us. But they wanted a warrior king, not a peaceful savior. On Monday, Jesus turned over the tables of money changers in the temple and cursed the fig tree. They had the appearance of health and fruitfulness, but not a real desire for God's presence. On Tuesday, Jesus continued teaching in parables. He predicted his death and resurrection and reminded everyone about the greatest commandment, to love God and love others. On Wednesday, the religious leaders held a secret meeting at the high priest's house. They plotted to kill Jesus and offered Judas 30 pieces of silver to betray him. On Thursday, Jesus observed the Passover meal with his friends. And later that night, he was betrayed and arrested in Gethsemane. He was beaten, brought to trial, and sentenced to death. On Friday, Jesus was crucified on the cross suffering for sins he did not commit. When he breathed his last, the sky went black and the curtain in the temple was torn in two. He was buried in a borrowed grave and a large stone was rolled in front of the entrance. On Saturday, the world held its breath, waiting in anticipation to see if everything he said was actually true. Now on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday, the tomb is empty. The stone is rolled away. The angel says he is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Present tense to you and I, he's alive. Not no, he was alive. He is alive today, right here, right now. He is alive. He is alive. He is alive. Today, right now. Right now, he is alive. Now STF, let's celebrate because the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is alive. Happy Easter, let's go!